from you too. I used to, I used to know her in high school. You know? What does she do anyway? Why don't you even judge her before you get to know her? She's on. <laughs> Hi, the lighting is terrible, but hi, how are you? Um, <laughs> that was awkward. Hi, um, if you're new here, my name is Laura. If you're not new here, thank you so much for sticking around. If you're new here, I am Laura. I'm 20 something years old and I like creating videos, basically. I used to do vlogs, but I stopped and I thought I should like niche down, like niche down to fashion, traveling and skincare. But clearly I've just I've been so terrible with niching. I'm just one thing about me, I cannot stick to one thing. Like I like a lot of things at once. So it's hard for me to just focus strictly on one thing. But you know what? I decided I'm gonna do this year's Vlogmas, but instead of like doing it like the traditional vlogmas way where i start on the first of december and vlog every single day until christmas uh until christmas day i'm gonna start it early because this year i've just haven't been in like the christmas spirit so i'm trying to like get myself into that christmas spirit so i thought maybe vlogging would help with that also i'm not gonna do this like as an everyday thing i'm gonna do it like every three days because um, unlike you know like the full-time creators and full-time youtubers that is very unrealistic for me there's no way that I am vlogging in one day and editing that video and then posting it in one day and then on top of that going to my regular job and doing like other regular stuff that's just very unrealistic so I'm just gonna do this like every three days and that's why I think I also one of the reasons why I decided to start it like mid-November I mean, I literally cannot feel the Christmas spirit, but clearly pe people have started decorating for Christmas and, you know, the streets are starting to light up. So I'm like, why not get into the Christmas spirit? I don't know what this Vlogmas is going to look like because it's my first ever Vlogmas. I kind of did a Vlogmas when I was vlogging, but it wasn't like really Vlogmas. Like I wasn't doing it, you know, Vlogmas-y. I don't know what that means. But this year I decided, okay, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So it's morning. I have to head out to work and... I'm late. I'm here chatting with you. Here's time. 8.45. I have to be at the office by 9.30. We take a bus. Unfortunately, we are bus takers. But I'm working on getting a license so that... Oh, I'm so over like bus riding, honestly. What the heck is that? Almost four? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is Okay, so my memory card was like zero minutes left and I like panicked a little because I thought it didn't like record like the previous clips, but likely it did. What a good little memory card. Anyway, so I'm just getting ready. My house is really messy. But the... And I want to make an excuse and say, oh, trust me, it's never really this messy, but it, trust me, it is always this messy and I cannot pretend. That it never is so. Why is the lighting so bad? Oh my goodness. I'm wearing these white legged um, pants. I bought these from Yestyle and I think I, I remember trying these on on a video of like a Yestyle haul, but then the problem because they were supposed to be high waist, they were literally so loose on me. So I started using a belt. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but using a belt just helped so much. Anyway, so this is my outfit. So because this is sticking out, I normally would do this or tuck this in like this. But then because I'm wearing something on top anyway, it doesn't matter. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm not really excited for this year's Christmas. And to be honest, I haven't been excited for Christmas for the past five years. Well, at least not since my mom passed away in 2015. 
For me, Christmas means a time to spend with your family and loved ones. As cliche and corny as that sounds, this is just how I was raised. Growing up, Christmas time meant all of your relatives and extended family members coming together to hold a massive celebration. It meant finally meeting your favorite cousins, aunties and uncles and spending those special moments together as one big happy family. Looking back and reflecting on the past, I guess it pretty much sums up why I haven't particularly been excited for Christmas for the past few years since my mom passed away. Of course, this doesn't mean I have not enjoyed Christmas at all. I've been blessed with some amazing new friends that I've made along the way who have invited me to spend Christmas with their families, so I was never really alone. And for that, I am forever and truly grateful. Okay, now that I'm home from work, I need to still get and log into my work laptop because I still have uh, work left to do. And then I think I'm just gonna uh, transfer like the footage for this for the first day into my laptop and maybe start editing. Uh, in a few hours, I have like a um, I have like a Bible course that I do online so I'm gonna be attending that I will let you guys in a little bit uh, but yeah so that's pretty much me for the rest of the day of the first day of vlogmas kind of and then we shall continue this day tomorrow I'm exhausted also guys I want to show you how my house looks right now before you say anything my house is normally really clean okay so don't judge like this is how my house looks 60% of the time <laughs> when I'm not really feeling in that mood to do anything but I do this thing where like because my house is really tiny like my flat I don't know why I keep saying house my flat is really tiny my living room is really tiny if you've watched my like living room makeover so you'd, you'd see and know how tiny it is so sometimes I have this thing where I just like do like, a little sleepover with myself and then I bring like some stuff to come and sleep in the living room I haven't been sleeping in the living room for the past week, no a week, three days ago but I still have like the stuff here because I don't know it just gives me comfort because it's so cozy because when you come outside from outside it's so cold and you come into the house and it's like this little cozy little area that you've done for yourself but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys that so this is how my living room is looking right now I mean it looks messy to you but it's so cozy to me I'm gonna set a clip of what it normally looks like when it's like nice and clean and you know taken care of I recently bought this it's like a I don't know if it's, do you call this a poncho or it's just a very oversized sweater. I mean, oversized hoodie. And it has a Grinch on it. <laughs> and it says Grinchmas. Like, this literally represents my mood for this season. When I said I'm not really feeling the season, I meant it. And I was just like, when I saw this at Primark, I was like, this is a representation of how I'm feeling for this Christmas, for this season. So, so I only wear it when I'm in the living room and I'm just like watching TV or doing whatever it is that I'm doing and then when I go to bed I remove it and leave it here so yeah so I'm just gonna get changed into that this is like my favorite thing ever it's so nice and cozy and snuggly this could literally fit like this is my whole body this could fit like two of me two and a half of me it's so big If you're so rude, can't the box, then you like it. What you think of 
no cause of you so rude Think outside the box then you like it Watching my comfort influences right now to explain the situation with this two banner stove <laughs> on top of an actual uh, stove <laughs> okay so long story short this stove broke and literally like static <laughs> right and then temporarily I, I had to buy this two banner stove from eBay and that was like six how many months ago and yeah since then i just haven't bothered to actually buy like a full-size normal stove and but i am thinking of buying a gas stove though i just haven't gotten around to doing it and honestly this is like really convenient for me because i don't really cook that much and yeah i don't really cook that much so i've never really felt the pressure to like buy the stove for me like buy a normal stove immediately so yeah, and I also have an air fryer and a microwave and that's all I need for a girl that doesn't cook. So I've run out of food and I stopped by Little to just grab some few stuff. So I'm just gonna use this for like noodles later. And then I just got some few snacks. Um, okay, a little backstory about me. So I am originally from uh, Botswana, born and raised and I moved to the uk like five how many so years ago and one thing i love the uk so much but one thing that i can just never seem to like just really grasp and get around to is enjoying the snacks here like literally there's not what okay hmm. yeah there's not one snack that i feel like i enjoy like here like the snacks in the uk because i'm already like a fussy eater like i'm a, I'm a picky eater so even back when I was in Botswana, like I was still a picky eater, but then I, at least I had like uh, some chips, Zimba chips, Mexican chili flavor. I'll put a picture here for reference. Those are my favorite, literally those are the only ones I ate. And then maybe we had like biltong, even like ham, like ham back home, like tastes so different and so good. And I don't know what they used to call it, like salami or something. I don't know. Like it was so good. Poloni, Poloni is like what? Pork? But I don't think they have it here. Uh, if they do, I haven't seen it. It just definitely the taste. And then we have something called like Russian. So it's basically this, what they call bockwurst. And it tastes amazing. If you are a traveler, if you're somebody like, if you are looking for tips and like food to try out when you go, when you visit countries, I'm gonna recommend this. When you go to Botswana, try the meat. Cause meat there is just, amazing and there's nothing i've literally been searching for this past year is for something that tastes at least the closest to that but i haven't found that so anyway as i was saying i don't really like the the snacks here like literally the only snacks that i enjoy maybe like the shop bread biscuits because we have that back home um and the kit kat i like the white one but this is also really good and then this white chocolate and anytime i have friends over and this thing is there literally they finish it up it's that good other than that, I don't really enjoy the snacks. I don't like the crisps. I don't like, like literally, I have like a cupboard like right here full of like crisps. But I only bought this so just so so that when my friends come over, they have something to snack on because I realized I don't cook. 
I never really have anything around the house to eat and I don't really enjoy the snacks here so I just bought these for visitors I don't I don't enjoy them Good morning, um, it's Saturday and before go going out later, I am gonna go help my friend just on the road there with something and then um, I guess I'll get ready for the night, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't really have any plans but I do know that I'm gonna meet a friend, so that's fun. Anyway, so this is how I'm dressed, just a hoodie and whatever this is, jacket to call it. And then Oh, jeans, but not these shoes. I'm gonna be wearing these shoes today. If you watched my video on like um winter winter slash autumn shoes, you know where these shoes came from and what I think about them. But I'm still gonna wear them today because I bought them, so why not? Also, if you're wondering what that is that's like flooring that was meant for my kitchen and i just kind of changed my mind about wanting to put flooring in this flat so yeah it's there it's just waiting for the right place so that i could be used properly a few moments later <sighs> okay so i just came back from my friends um now i have Oh, I got, uh, oh my god, mm, mm, mm. Uh, okay, that's better, uh, my ears are blocked, it's the cold wind outside, I can literally, my voice is echoing inside my head, that is so annoying. So I'm just gonna get ready and I am gonna get ready, I just said that, I'm gonna get ready so that I can go to my friends. Uh, to my other friend's place and um, yeah I'm not mm, I don't know I'm not gonna really dress up or anything like that I think I mean I could go like this but I feel like I should put in a little bit more effort I don't know what that looks like to be honest mm -hmm. Just to give it like a little bit more shape. Let's just take it off. Was this like 
built on. So I just got home from my friend's place and I'm going to end this vlog here. Right now I'm just gonna um, take a shower and then head to bed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and look forward to the second vlog, to the rest of the vlogmas vlogs. Anyway, that's it. Bye.